and members of South Korea's parliament are rolling up their sleeves to try and resolve this uh, trade spat with Japan. On Wednesday, a delegation of lawmakers uh, departed for the United States for talks with American officials. Next week, another group will head to Japan. Kim Milkyun reports. A parliamentary delegation led by former National Assembly Speaker Chung tae kyun of the ruling Democratic Party is visiting Washington for five days until Sunday. The seven-member team will meet with senators from the upper and lower house as well as high-ranking State Department officials to explain that Japan's export restrictions against South Korea are unjust. The delegation will also deliver a unanimous resolution adopted by Foreign Affairs and Unification Committee lawmakers earlier this week, which mainly calls for Japan to withdraw the curbs. Alongside the delegation to the U.S., another group of lawmakers led by independent lawmaker Seo chung won is set to visit Japan for two days beginning July 31st. Though the other participants are yet to be confirmed, the delegation is expected to meet with Japanese counterparts to argue for the withdrawal of Japan's export curbs against Korea, as well as discuss ways to mend the worsening ties between the two countries. Ahead of the visits, National Assembly Speaker Moon Hee Sang sent letters to his U.S. and Japanese counterparts on Tuesday, stating his concerns about Tokyo's export restrictions. In his letter to the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi, Moon expressed hopes for Washington to mediate in the row, and in his letter to Japan's House of Representatives Speaker Tadamori Oshima, Moon called for Japan to refrain from taking additional measures and work to resolve the issue diplomatically. Kim Mo Kyun, Arirang News.